Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to talk about the real power of blockchains that I think is very very important and that a lot of people are missing. Blockchains allow for the creation of new economies and when I talk about the economies it's not, it's not just about creating a new coin, I'm talking about the creation of new paradigm, economic paradigm, how the money gets generated, how the money rewards people. Basically, in our system, we reward profit. If you can show to a bank, which is producing money, like in blockchains, that if the bank gives you money, you can produce a profit and pay the interest. Well, the bank will be very happy and will lend you that money. But if you don't, if you are poor and if you are saying that, okay, with that money, you, are, you want to make good deeds for people, you want to save uh, humanity or whatsoever, the bank will not give you that money because based on the current economic model, it is not valuable. You don't bring value to the bank that way. You might bring value to the community that way, but not to a bank. So the bank won't lend you money. And the whole idea around blockchains and that most people are missing is that blockchain allows you to create your own economy. And when I say your own economy, basically you create your coin, basically the instrument of value exchange, but the value itself can be defined the way you want it. So in our current system, banks are rewarding people who are successful in business, who pay interest back and making big bucks. But you can create a system that rewards people who are doing good things for people or are being creative. So let's take an example here. You are a scientist, you are very creative, but you are, you are not really recognized by, by authorities. And in the end, those authorities are middlemen, but you do a lot of... Uh, of stuff that can be very useful for people and you are being creative. You can create a blockchain that will issue coins to creative people. If you make some scientific or general creative uh, solutions, you can be rewarded by that token. And if this token is traded, you are basically rewarded with money. But it's not enough. If you are just issuing tokens to reward people, the token will be worthless because you are freely giving it away. For a economy to work, you have to have a cycle of outputs and inputs. In our case, outputs are the coins given to creative people and inputs are somehow uh, the actions of the community or of the uh, creative people that reinject the money back. And the most obvious way to reinject the money back is to buy those tokens. So basically, if, you, if we take an example of our own system, banks are issuing money. Banks are lending money to corporations. Corporations develop new businesses. Uh, and sometimes they don't, but basically they take that money and they give it to you as a salary. And with that salary, you will go on the market and you buy, you will buy something. And sometimes you will borrow the money directly from the bank. All those actions are actually reinjecting the money into the economy. And this is why the economy actually works. So if we want to create a blockchain that rewards people who are doing good deeds, for instance, or who are being creative, we need to find a way to actually design an economy that allows for a reinjection of value. And this is done to avoid the devaluation of the token. If the token is worth nothing, you lose trust in the system. And this is what happened during the Second World War. Too much money was produced to cover debt. And because of that, the money was worth nothing and the war began. So I think it's very, very important to focus on that. Blockchains allow the creation of new economies.